So this is the TI-36X Pro. And what I want to do is I want to take this table, this frequency table, and find the mean. How do I do that? So we click on table and I don't want to erase this. So I click on data again and I go all the way down here and I'll clear all. And there it is. Everything is cleared up. So I'm going to enter the data. So X will be L1 and the frequency will be L2. So keep that in mind. So one, two, three, four, five, right? We enter the data. Every number I press, I enter. And then for the second column, I go over and then I press 10, enter, uh, 15. So let's go back here. 15, enter, 20, enter, 15, enter, 10, enter. Always good idea to check to see if the numbers are in there correctly, right? Uh, 1 and 10, 2 and 15, 3 and 20, 4 and 15, 5 and 10. Looks great. Now, let's find the mean. Now, this one, um, if you remember, it's more the weighted mean, right? So that's the sum of x times f, or xi times f, um, the frequency for that value, divided by n, where n is the total frequency. So the way they sometimes will do this is they'll say 1 times 10 plus 2 times 15 plus 3 times 20 plus 4 times uh, 15 plus 5 times 10 over the sum of n. And I'm not sure what that is, right? That would just be the sum of the frequency. A lot of steps here. Now, that this video is not about this so much as finding the answer. So let's do that. So we're going to go click on data. And you see how I got into this? Now, this is not what I want. Let's press data again. So what I want is I want to go into what they call one variable statistics. And to do that, we got to click on stat distribution, this light blue. So second data. And we're going to do one variable statistics because this is still one variable. And this is a little bit different from the, from the previous video if you watched it. So L1 is here. The frequency is going to be L2, but we got to press and enter that. So now we got L1 and L2, which is, looks good, and then calculate. Okay. So we can see here that uh, it says the answer is X bar is equal to 3. X bar is equal to 3, and that's, that is correct. But we can also figure out some other information too, like the sum of this. The sum is over here. See the sum of x? 210. Divided by the total, was it over here? n is 70. See that? And 7 goes into 21 three times and get rid of the zeros. So this is right. Okay. So the calculator calculated the average for us and also told us the sum right the sum that is needed divided by how many we have so in conjunction with the calculator you can go back and forth uh, helping to see if your if your understanding is right